Hi, this is Bo on the road and authentic world food. I'm in Rajasthan in India. Today's filming was very special. The best so far, I would say. Firstly, I got into a gypsy village in a desert, which was really something. And secondly, I tried and filmed the best chapati I've ever had. And there were so many interesting things happening around. I wish I had at least 10 cameras to capture them all. Now let's have a look into this house made of grass and branches to see how to make the most essential Indian flatbread made by this beautifully decorated lady. For chapati you need just the very basic ingredients wholemeal flour, water and salt. In case you are wondering what's the point of making 5 minutes long video about it, it's simple. As usual the details make the difference. As proper processing of the dough is one of the most essential things for the success. She processes it with her hands only and it takes pretty long to reach the very smooth dough. She uses this metal tray that the dough is smooth and doesn't stick to the surface. Another secret which give to the chapatis their unchangeable flavor are open fire and this clay pan. She just cleans it a bit, the rest is disinfected by the fire. In traditional restaurants in the north of India they use tandoori, which is a clay oven. Then she creates a roll of the dough, prepares a wooden board powdered with the same flour which was used for the dough and heats the pan. Then she separates piece of the dough for one chapati and processing continues. She's slowly shaping the ball into a small thick pancake. The dough is powdered with the flour as well. Only then she uses a wooden roller to make the roti really thin. Look how smooth it is. Then she lays it on the pan without any oil and roasts from both sides. As the branches burn very fast, they use camo poop sometimes, which lasts in the fire a very long time. Meanwhile, Ram started to play a Ravanhatha, traditional gypsy instrument. And the neighbors arrived too. That was the reason the lady pulled down her veil which she does always when anybody except her family enters the house. <laughs> it's important to check the chapati very often, as it takes around one and a half minutes from each side only to be done. If some part is done less than the other, she just moves it more to the center of the fire. She presses it whenever the chapati inflates using another chapati to protect her hands from getting burnt. The last secret is a butter. They melt it a bit on the fire and then pour on chapati and spread using two of them. Chapati is the essential side dish in India. We are having it with delicious gobi masala. The video recipe is coming soon. To wash all the butter from the dishes, they use ash from the fire and sand from the desert. And believe it or not, it works. For full recipe and buying ingredients, check links under the video. For more stuff about authentic cooking, check authenticworldfood.com website and follow me on Facebook.